He came out his freshman year and just dominated on the ninth grade team. I remember him well. It was always Jaque Billingsley's dream to play college football. It seemed like that dream was over during Thanksgiving break of his freshman year. He'd picked up wrestling to improve his football skills, and then there was an accident. He ended up trying to do a hip toss, and I, he fell on my knee. I dislocated my knee and I severed my artery, and so I was rushed to the hospital. The best choice doctors had was to amputate his leg below the knee. As you can imagine, Jacqui was devastated. Then his football coaches came to see him at the hospital. Basically, they told me to get off, get off my butt, you know, go to rehab. It didn't take long for Jacqui to return to his normal self, a jokester, always with a smile on his face. <laughs> when I taught Jacqui, uh, I asked him to come to the board one time to solve a problem to the whiteboard, and he had taken his leg off. And he said, well, I can't come to the board, Ms. Wolfolk. I don't have my leg on. And I said, put your leg back on and let's go to the board. A year and a half after surgery, he was back doing what he loved the most, playing on the defensive line for the Northside Eagles. He cares about athletics. He cares about Northside football. And most of all, he cares about us. This fall, Jacqui will leave his teammates and coaches behind to pursue that lifelong dream of playing college football. He'll play for Pasadena City College in California. They ended up seeing one of my highlights and said they was interested in me coming to play there. And then I talked to the coach, Coach Fimbers, a little more. And yeah, so he was, he was, he's fired up to have me over there. And I'm fired up to go. As he should be. In Warner Robins, Tucker Sargent, 41, NBC Sports.